from the Ironga Mountain, Namibia. Now, this one needs to be turned over a few times just to be understood. Um, a formation of shoal tourmaline crystals with a mild dusting of opal in or highlight, which would fluoresce under shortwave UV light. I think we may even have the phenomena of daytime fluorescence here. I actually wonder, is this opal in or is it not a, a mineral like Hawaii sitting over here? Color seems a bit different to the, the typical. Let's have a closer look over here. Quite lovely. Now, what what is of main interest here, and I wonder, I think this may also be a floater, but we have this, when we take it on this section, have a look at this multitude of crystallization. So you have the, the main crystal head here, whole lot of crystals running right up the side, across that side. And we go here, and we find a more typical formation for the shoal tourmaline. Now let's see if we can find a bend star. The bends is tapped uh, maybe on that section. Um, Benz would be trapped under that uh, crystal going through. I think we may find a, a semi-complete Benz on this side. When I talk of Benz, I talk of the Benz star. There's a little bit of going into that angle. Dusting of the Opal A-N or highlight. I call it Opal A-N, uh, not to get confused with halite, which would be salt. Dusting across here as well. I think we are looking at a floater here, actually. Just see, this this yellow is quite intense. And of course, under shortwave UV light, bright yellow-green uh, to green fluorescence. From a display point of view, what I find, uh, I've dealt with a lot of these tourmalines, and what I find quite appealing about this particular piece is this crystallization which takes place here, which is not all that common. The multitude of crystallization happening there. Yet... This is also rather appealing, this, this section here, which would be a more typical view of the shoal tourmaline with this dusting of the, the yellow running across the top. All the way from the Ronga and surrounds Namibia.